What if you could design a more parameter-efficient large language model? What if it was also more memory-efficient? And what if it was computationally faster during inference? A new architecture called Mixture of Recursions aims to do exactly that. Today, we will do a deep dive into the engineering behind this model. At its heart is a fundamental data structure, the recursive parameter block. A standard transformer stacks layers with unique weights, but this idea is thrown out. You have a unique input layer to process the initial data, and you have a unique output layer to give the final answer. The magic happens in the middle with a shared block of parameters. A token is rooted back through the same graph for iterative refinement. But how does the model decide which tokens get this recursive treatment? Think of expert choice routing as a bouncer at an exclusive club. At each step, a threshold is set and only top tokens are selected. If a token is selected, its state is updated, otherwise it is passed through. Token choice routing is different, it is more like a train dispatcher. Here, each token is assigned to a single expert path at the very beginning. The token is then processed multiple times by that one expert it was assigned to. The big challenge here is ensuring all the expert tracks are used evenly. With recursion-wise caching, we only store keys and values for selected tokens. This restricts the expensive quadratic attention to a small group of active tokens. With recursive KV sharing, the model computes the cache only once. All subsequent recursions reuse this same globally shared cache, saving memory. This enables a technique called continuous depthwise batching. Tokens from different depths can be grouped into a single batch for the GPU. This simple idea eliminates computational bubbles and improves throughput. The model matches performance with significantly fewer resources. Mixture of recursions demonstrates key principles, like tackling parameters, memory, and compute at once. It also shows how to learn resource use and focus compute where it is needed most. Finally, it co-optimizes the system by aligning caching with routing. It shows a clear path toward building more capable and more efficient models.